Home is where the heart is. On My Dream Home, we help you find your dream home. Or turn your house into the home of your dream. Learn about the properties, products, and services that will make that dream a reality. Start your Sunday morning off right with My Dream Home. Sponsored in part by Realty Executives and Baker's Tucson's Furniture Showroom. Welcome to My Dream Home. I'm Jody Hinkle. And I'm Rainbow Wheeland. On today's show, we're actually coming to you from one of Rainbow's jobs at Casa de Smiley. That's right, Jody. We are going behind the scenes to see what a real kitchen remodel is like and what a homeowner really has to go through. But before we get into that, check out this dream home. Welcome to 6543 North Turnberry Drive. As you walk into this upscale remodeled home, you are welcomed by an open kitchen with granite counters and top of the line Kitchen Aid appliances. This kitchen has a breakfast bar as well as a beautiful breakfast nook. Living room is bright and open with travertine floors and vaulted ceilings, as well as a formal dining room with fireplace attached. Master offers plenty of space, ensuite bath with soaking tub and well-designed shower. Walk-in closet as well as a cedar closet offers plenty of storage. Upstairs has two bedrooms and one bath. Bath with new travertine, tile, and custom fixtures. Well-designed backyard has views of the Catalinas and the wonderful city views. This home is 450000 Contact the Dream Home Group if you're interested at 257-1167. I'm here with Erin Smiley. How are you doing today? I'm good. This is crazy. So today's the big day. We are taking out the wall, the, the item that you've been wanting to get out of here forever. Yes. I'm excited for you. I know. We're excited to see it all done. Well, before they get further along, let's talk about the granite that we picked out. So you finally found your favorite one. I know we went to the yard and we looked at a lot of different ones. Yes. This one is um, a beautiful granite. It has lots of golds and tans that's going to work with your cabinetry and your other tile that we picked out. And so you're happy with your choice? We love it. It's beautiful. I can't wait to see it all over the place. Well, let's get this wall taken out so that we can get the granite guy back yes. in here and let's get you get her done. Out. Yes. Can't wait to see it all done. Me either. Erin, so here we are. We're opening up the wall. And usually, I can guarantee you that there's always a hiccup along the road. So we have found our first hiccup. So we've opened up the wall, and I have found some water lines and okay. a drain line. Now, the drain line is moving. So it okay. may not actually be in use is what we're hoping. Um, we may be able to reroute these through the floor. We're not sure yet. We're going to have to get it opened up. But worst case scenario is that we're going to have to use and notch out the stud here and you'll have one big beam kind of going through. We can okay. make that decorative or we can simply sheetrock it. Okay. So I just wanted to let you know where we're at. So it's not over yet, but yeah. first hiccup and okay. we'll get through it. All right. All right. So Erin, we were here yesterday and we've had lots of improvement. Your wall is gone. I know. Look at this kitchen. It's amazing what it's you can amazing. do in one day. I know. Well, awesome. We, we had our little hiccup and obviously we figured out how to solve it. We had some water lines we had to move. So we've put them in this post and we're going to wrap it in sheetrock. Um, but you still have your open concepts. We're going to have more pendant lights. Um, we've got our granite guy here and he is ready. So I mean, my goodness, and in a week and a half, you're going to have a brand new kitchen. That's amazing. I'm so excited. Are I you? I can't wait. Yes. Well, that's great. Yes, well, I'm ready. Well, we look forward to coming back and showing off your granite and your beautiful backsplash. And so we'll see you soon. I'm here at Tucson Appliance with Roxana Morales. Thank you for being on the show. Well, welcome to the showroom. This is actually my first time in the showroom. And this place is amazing. I mean, I've driven by it. You know, Chris is an institution here in Tucson. Yeah. And I had no idea that you had such high-end appliances at such incredible rate. Tell me about Tucson Appliance. Well, Tucson Appliance was established in 1969 by Bill Edwards, Chris Edwards' father. Okay. He has other businesses, too. Um, we have Tucson Furniture, Tucson Heating and Cooling, uh, Priority Service, okay. and our retail showroom, too. Now, when I walk in here, my eyes are drawn to these bright color tags. What can you tell me about these? Well, I'm... The tags indicate different levels of price point. Okay. So if you see a tag, for example, this tag is white. This is a standard price. Sure. It's in stock. When you see the purple tags, that's the manager special. Okay. And then the orangey tags are going to be open box or scratch and dent. Okay. Many times you can't even tell where that dent is, especially let's say, for example, a refrigerator. It could be in the back. 
okay. which once you put it in the cabinet, you don't even know it's there. Sure. What you do know is that you save thousands of dollars. For example, this is a GE profile. Right. It's a mid to high end uh, brand, and this is a counter depth refrigerator. Counter depths are very expensive. The regular price would be three thousand. Wow, three thousand dollars. Yes, and then if we just sold it without the manager special, you're looking at twenty two hundred. Okay. But our manager special is under 2000 for 1899 I mean that's amazing that's, we make sure that it is running properly as well and it's a full manufactured warranty you do not have a discounted warranty it's still the same well you guys have a high-end uh, part of your showroom as well right yes, yeah can you show that to me I would love to so Roxana this is the high-end showroom right yes it is well tell me about what's going on here um, you have some wonderful appliances some great cabinets a beautiful look in here thank you well, our, uh, where we're standing now is our Thermidor vignette. We have different brands in the different places of this showroom. Um, currently, we're in the process of updating our Thermidor and Bosch okay. appliances. So all of our display items, this built-in uh, French door refrigerator, this is a column next to you. We're putting these all on sale for very deep discounts. Some of them are up to 30 to 35% off. For the folks at home, they want to find out more about you guys, how can they do that? You can visit our website, it's www.tacappliance.com or you can come in and visit us anytime. Okay. You can walk in, the address is 4229 East Speedway Boulevard. So we'll come on down today and check out these incredible deals in this beautiful showroom. Thanks again for being on the show. Thank you. Hi, I'm here with Tigran from A to Z Stone and Granite. How you doing? Good, how are you? I'm good. So we're here at our project home and you're getting ready to do the template. We're moving along quickly. So can you describe exactly your process here? So I'm using this wood. Uh, they are they're called template woods. Okay. So with this wood, I'm making exactly the shape of your kitchen. And after I'm going to put it on the top of the stone and cut exactly by templates. So Tigran, tell me, how important is this um, template that you do? Temp template is very important. If template goes wrong, that's mean all cutouts, everything gonna be wrong. So job not gonna be right. So I think it's really interesting that you're able to do this template even though there's a countertop in space and also the sink. So you're able to work around that when you're doing your template. Sure, sure. I'm doing this long time and I find the right way. Uh -huh. I do right. So yep, it's easy. It's easy to do this way. So tell me, yeah. after you have the template, um, about how long can my client expect until you can actually install it? Uh, I will install like seven to ten uh, working days. Okay, great. Yeah, because it takes a lot of time to do fabrication. Right. Well, I think it's really nice that she's able to leave her sink in, in spot and be able to function yeah, even, though she's under con even though she's under construction. That's great. So if people out there want to get a hold of you, how do they reach you? They can call me. My phone number is 520-300-1211. Also, they can visit my website. It's the same like company name, a 2 granitecom That's wonderful. Uh, we look forward to seeing the finished product, and uh, I just can't wait to see your work. You're welcome. Thank you. Stay tuned. Right after these messages, we'll be back with some more great local Tucson companies. Hi, this is Chris Edwards with Tucson Appliance Company. Save energy and money with a Tucson Electric Power rebate. Buy a new refrigerator or freezer from Tucson Appliance, recycle your old one, and you'll get a $30 TEP rebate. If you buy an open box refrigerator or freezer from Tucson Appliance, you'll get the $30 TEP rebate. I'll match it and then match it again for a $90 rebate. Buy a refrigerator or freezer for same or next day delivery. Rebates go further at Tucson Appliance and Tucson Furniture, where our low prices are your priority. At Baker's, you'll find distinctive and timeless furniture for every room in your home. Selection and style all come together in one place. For you to choose that perfect piece. Explore your new look. Baker's Tucson's Furniture Showroom, 2303 East Grand Road, west of Tucson Boulevard. Brigitte Grolik. I was born in um, Prague in Central Europe. I was seven years old when we were deported. And uh, I, from then on, I was looking for a place where I could take roots. And uh, for me, the roots I could establish finally was the United States. 
And this is where I always want to come back to. And here I am, and uh, I came the first time in 1970. And for me at that time, this was the paradise on earth, which it was. This is the country where I can breathe. I think I was always uh, in love with art. I could not, aesthetics for me was, uh, I could not live without. And um, I became more and more interested in, in this and at some point I was the director of a small museum in Florida, which I loved, this was a wonderful job, and I loved, I loved it very much. Gave that up and uh, tried to do another thing, something to make money. But that didn't really work, not work too well because this is not my personality. I discovered this going through this. I realized, wait, 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 this is not my, my love. When I had this opportunity to come here with my Hungarian husband, who, um, who is an artisan, the idea of blending the furniture with an art gallery, that, that's what I would like to do. I started it now and it's going and I want it to continue and grow and become something very interesting for Tucson. In Tucson, in the very beginning, uh, of course, the weather and all, all the things that everyone adores, we started in the winter and it was a great, great climate to start in. The economic climate sort of was in the, in the, in the phase of descent and that wasn't too, too uh, good, but uh, we were quite happy. But what I, I really found e extremely interesting is this, there is so much color here. There are colors here that I have never seen anywhere else in the United States. And I, I love that. I think it brings something very unique to this place. I'm here to give you some great tips when it comes to designing your kitchen. You know, a lot of people think that if you have your countertop one color, your backsplash has to be another, and that's not always the case. In this particular situation, we have a beautiful marble countertop, and on the back, it's actually marble and it has mirrored glass. The interesting thing about this is that it does have a lot of movement, and so it works in the space, and even though it's in the same color value. Another application you could do is actually frame in the unit behind the stove and put a different material on the inside. When you're designing your kitchen, it's really fun to play with materials and don't be afraid to go out and try different things. For more tips and tricks from Solstice Interior Design, go to MyDreamHomeTV.com. Hi, I'm here at Arizona Tile with Leslie, showroom manager. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? Good, good. Well, we came down here last week and we looked at some different tiles and some different granites and um, my client picked a few things out and I was hoping you could tell the audience a little bit about them. Um, and granite in particular, you have so many wonderful slabs yeah. out back. It was just fun going through them. <laughs> Almost too much fun. Yeah. So they decided to go with this one here. What is this one called? This is Giallo Portofino. Um, it comes, it's quarried out of Brazil. Um, it's a great color. You've got your lighter tans, your golds, a little bit of black, and a little bit of garnet as well. It's nice because, you know, it seems to me like this works with any palette. You can go neutral, mm -hmm. you can darken it up, you know, whatever your taste yeah. may be, it kind of fits everybody. It does. It's very, it gives you a lot of options with it. You know, the nice thing about that too is I bet it makes it really easy to sell a home if it's got that kind of granite in it. It does. People love this type of granite. Um, you don't have to worry about, it doesn't show a lot of fingerprints or like some of the blacks or some of the solid whites can. Wonderful. Well, here's some um, subway tile, which she was really interested in, especially the natural stone in particular. Um, tell me what you think about this. I know that you happen to have this in your kitchen, don't I, you? I do. I have the four by four tumbled stone in my kitchen. It's a great um, timeless option and it goes with a lot of different things. This one brings in a little bit of the lighter with some darker colors in it and the subway tiles are a classic look. And that's great, you know, here you can see it, it's in a lighter color, it even has some grays in it. We can get it in more of the golds and the tans and even in the darker browns, which is nice. Um, this accent piece you have in here is really beautiful. Can you tell me a little bit more about it? Yeah. This is a Listel that, uh, that has three different colors of tumbled marble in it. Oh wow, it's really pretty. Yeah, it's a very popular one. It kind of it pulls in the lights. It works great with the colors in the Giallo Portofino as well. I can see this in a shower as well as in a backsplash. Mm -hmm. 
yeah, it works in a multitude of areas. Sometimes people even put it on the floor for transition. Oh, I can see that. Mm -hmm. Well, I just love your store. Can you tell our audience how do they get a hold of you? Yeah, you can visit our website at arizonatile.com or call us at 520-622-4671, option one for the showroom. Well, thanks so much for being on the show. Thank you. We're here at Arizona Window Covering Professionals, and they are new to the Lost Barrio, but they've been in Tucson since 1979. I know that you've been using them for the last 16 years. So what can you tell us about the store? Well, you know, what I love about the store is not only do they do wonderful blinds and have great mechanisms, but they also do draperies and upholstery. And that's something that's really hard to find here in town. And you can bring in pretty much any item and they can upholster it. They can do valances on top of your honeycombs if you choose to go right. that route. Um, they also have great materials to choose from. And it's just been a really great store or resource to have here in town. I know it really has, and Hunter Douglas is a great manufacturer. I know they have a limited lifetime warranty that nobody else has. I heard a story yesterday that they have replaced or repaired blinds that are over 20 years old. What's really great about this particular store is that they'll come out and give you an estimate for sure. new products, and also they'll give you an estimate on whether or not you have to pay for them to be repaired or if it's covered under warranty. Now, this is one of my favorite products here. Mm -hmm. It is the Duet Honeycomb Shades, and it's by Hunter Douglas. And the thing I love about it is it's got the, the dual honeycomb inside, which really reduces the heat for the rooms that they're in. And it really reduces the amount of electricity that is needed to cool those rooms. But That's they great. also are very fashionable. They are fashionable in the fact that they have so many different colors and materials to choose from. Right. And you know, not only this product, but they have other products that love the things that you do, which is mechanisms yes, and, and gadgets. I, <laughs> and as my wife will tell you, I absolutely love remotes. And they are a necessity for me. I have three windows that are basically would be the second story of my living room. I have an open living room concept. That's right. I press a button and the window coverings lower and not only does it dim the lighting but it also saves me in electricity. I know in my own house and with my clients it's a big concern. Um, you know we want to have the fashion but we also need the function. So come on down to Arizona Window Covering Professionals in the Lost Barrio and uh, Check out and see how their window coverings can reduce the heat in your rooms, lower the energy costs, and more than anything, make your room look even more beautiful than it already is. So we're here at Baker's in the dining room interior section, and I'm here with Judy once again, and I am really interested in this table, even personally. It is gorgeous. So tell me about it, please. Okay, we're really proud of this table. This is part of our Simply Amish collection. And this is the B and Oak uh, trestle table. You'll notice on the front it has the shape of the trestle bridges for the railroad. Oh, wow. This is made from character cherry, so you will have knots showing, and sometimes you even get a little hole in the backs of the chair, and a lot of people really like that. Well, you can make it any way you want, but we chose to go very rustic with it. So tell me, is this distressed, or is this naturally this way? A little of both. A little of both. Okay. This is naturally, um, they have chosen pieces that have a lot of character, but then right. they've gone ahead and aged it. So Judy, you said this is Amish, so mm -hmm. tell me a little bit about that. Okay, this is simply Amish and they're located in Arcola, Illinois. And what's great about this company is they have different families making different things. So. Um, one family will be making beds, one family will be making tables and chairs. and So it's all handcrafted. It's all handcrafted. Well, they're definitely known for their furniture. Can I get this or something similar to this in round, square? There's many different options, There correct? are a lot of different options and they have a lot okay. of different styles. Some are even quite contemporary. I noticed that you have the bench out front mm -hmm. um, and you mentioned that, but if we don't want a bench. I noticed we have a couple more chairs here, so you can That's do it right. in several different ways. Yes. You can pick different chairs if you wanted to as well. And does this come in other colors? There's uh, about eight different finishes. So Judy, we talked about the different features of this table, so why don't you explain it and show the audience what is so unique about it? Well, this table has a butterfly leaf on each end that just completely disappears. You simply pull this out, open the leaf, and it pushes on in and you have a skirt the whole way around. Wow, I'll be honest, as a designer, I have never seen anything like that. So you can do that on both sides? Both sides. Wow, so I guess you can have the bench and the extra couple chairs and you have um, room for Thanksgiving or Christmas or? A big dinner party. Big dinner party. <laughs> 
That's awesome. Well, thank you for taking the time to uh, show us this unique piece. You're welcome. I'd like to welcome to the show Paul McKee with Wilson Home Audio. Thank you for being on the show. Thank you for having me, Jody. Today we are talking about something very interesting and something that I personally don't know a lot about, and that is speakers. So tell me about the speakers that you guys have and what people should be thinking about when they're buying speakers. The lines that we tend to carry that we've chosen to fill most needs are Bowers and Wilkins, uh, PSB, Magnapan, and Klipsch. Okay. Speakers are a very personal thing. Uh, we all have different tastes in music and different speakers do better for different types of music. You have to look and see what speaker is going to do the best for your type of sound, what sort of movies you watch, what sort of music you listen to, and how you listen to it. Okay. And you also have to take your room into consideration as well. If you have a very, very sonically bright room, you don't want a speaker that's going to be very, very forward sounding. You want something that's going to tame that room as opposed to just blare out at you. Interesting. So somebody like myself who has an eclectic taste in music, you know, today I may be listening to classical, tomorrow I may be listening to country, and the next maybe even rap. So would I be better off looking for something that does all of those things well instead of one that does one of them great but doesn't do well in the other areas? It really depends on your budget. Okay. Technically, the more money you spend, the closer you're going to get to something that's going to do all the different types of music for you. Okay. If you're working on a budget, you want to listen to the type of music you listen to most. You want to bring in your favorite and something you're very familiar with and listen to that music and see if it works for you. So when I come into your showroom here on Broadway and I want to check out a system, I can bring in my own music and you can oh, play absolutely. it for me? Absolutely. We encourage you to bring in your own music. Okay. Um, if you use the music that is in the store, it may sound, a certain speaker may sound perfect for that music, but it may not sound good for your music. Okay. It's your system, so you have to be happy with it and you have to like it. So those folks that are out there that want to bring in their music to your showroom here, try your speakers and take some home, what's the best way for them to find out more about Wilson Home Audio? You can either come into the store at 5740 East Broadway, okay. call us at 520-745-0441, or look us up on the internet at wilsonhomeaudio.com. Excellent. Well, thanks for being on the show. Thank you for having me. Hi, we're coming to you today from 6543 North Turnberry Drive. I'm here with Alex Yorbro, and we are here to talk about how to get your house ready to sell. How are you doing today? I'm great. How are you? I'm good. So tell me, you know, I know the biggest thing when it comes to staging and photography that light and bright is key. What other key items would you say that are important when it comes to photographing a home? You really want to make it so that someone can picture themselves there. You don't want it too empty. You want to kind of whet their appetite a little bit. And hey, this would be an awesome place to live, but leave enough space and air for them to picture their own belongings there and make it seem like you have as much space as possible because we all have a lot of stuff and we all like minimalist design more and more it seems. So you really want to create a feeling of space. That's true. I know I tell most of my clients the biggest thing is to take down all your personal photographs as much as we love them, yeah. but taking them down is really key so that other people can picture themselves there. Absolutely. Absolutely. So I'd like you to take some pictures of this house. I know that we really need them because it's getting ready to sell. Awesome. And uh, so why don't we have a, take a chance and do that? Okay. So Alex, tell me, you know, there's a lot of people out there that are working with a smaller space and have a lot of difficulties to overcome. What would be your suggestions for them? My suggestion is, especially if you have a smaller space to work with, you really need to hire someone who knows what they're doing in terms of photographing the space. You never want to misrepresent it, but you want to show it in its best light, and a lot of that will depend on lenses. You want to try to kind of get the whole room in so that you can really feel the extent of that space rather than just a little piece of the room. So there's kind of, there's ways to showcase things to, to highlight their size as opposed to making them feel smaller and closer. Well, I know that the houses that you've done for us have d just turned out wonderful, and I'm excited to see you do this one. So to be sure to contact Alex, or you can contact the Dream Home Group to have your home listed at 257-1167. Now stay tuned. Coming up next is Jody Hinkle and Nova Home Loans. Dream homes come in all sizes and price points. No matter your budget, we can help you find exactly what you're looking for. There are a lot of moving parts when buying a home, from offer to inspections up to the day you get your keys. We will keep everything running smoothly through the entire process. Selling a home doesn't have to be a nightmare. From staging to contract negotiations to the day you finally say goodbye, we are here to keep everything running smoothly. 
If you're looking to sell your home and you'd like to have it showcased on My Dream Home, call the Dream Home Group at 257-1167 or at MyDreamHomeTucson.com. At Nova Home Loans, we know your home is where some of the most important times of your life take place. Poolside contests become a thing of legend. A secret hiding spot brings to life hush whispers and quiet giggles. And a fairy tale is a magical ending to a perfect day. Nova Home Loans is more than a mortgage company. We're the official sponsor of Cannonballs, Hide and Seek, Bedtime Stories, and you. Happy to welcome to the show Vice President and Senior Loan Officer at Nova Home Loans, Ian Brandon. Thanks again for being with us. Thanks for having me, Jody. Yeah, we love having you on. You always provide great information. Last time you were on, we talked about uh, VA loans. And today you're here to talk about first time home buyers and renting versus buying. That's correct. So, you know, tell us about that. Well, uh, renting versus buying right now, it's, uh, it's an opportunistic time for a, ho- uh, for a renter to get into a home. And the reason being is because values still haven't shot up from, from, right. the, from the lull. You know, the, the values just declined rapidly, especially mm-hmm. in Southern Arizona. So what that creates is, an, is a, an opportunity for someone who's renting to purchase a home at the very low. Right. And then uh, moreover, there's down payment assistance programs available for first time home buyers to allow them to get into a home with no, no money out of pocket. So if, if, you, if you can afford to purchase a home with no down payment, and sure. that, that's the biggest hurdle right, right there, coming up with a down payment. So if the down payment is given to you and you're buying at the low, low point of the market, uh, well, when values go up, you're, you're still locked in at your payment. Right. So when, when values go up, that, that's due to inflation. And inflation also affects rents. Right. So people's rent payments are going to go up eventually. When you start to see interest rates climb up, uh, you can almost guarantee that people on a year-to-year basis for rent, their rent payment's going to go up too. Well, we were moving, and we weren't sure where we wanted to build a house yet, so we looked at renting versus buying. My rent payment was actually going to be more than my mortgage payment. Absolutely, and we're finding that uh, uh, the case for most people, I, I do several loan applications for people who you know, tell me that they want to buy their first home, sure. and I end up uh, taking their loan application, asking them how much they're paying in rent, and their mortgage payment goes down 100 bucks a month from what they're renting at right now. Well, how can our audience at home you know, get in touch with you and find out uh, more about you? Well, they can always give me a call at my office, uh, 520-837-9949. Okay. Uh, they can visit me on my website, www.ianbrannongroup.com. Fantastic. Well, thanks for the great information. Thanks for being on the show. Thanks for having me, Jody. Yep. Thank you for watching today's show. Remember, if you missed any part of today's show or just want to watch it again, go to MyDreamHomeTV.com. That's right. And tune in next week at 8 a.m. on ABC to find your next dream home. Home is where the heart is. On My Dream Home, we help you find your dream home. Or turn your house into the home of your dreams. Learn about the properties, products, and services that will make that dream a reality. Start your Sunday morning off right with My Dream Home.